everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I wanted to do a quick eye makeup tutorial for you. I am hoping that this will be a quick and easy makeup video for you today. And someone had suggested this quite a while ago, like back in the spring. But I've noticed that this trend has not gone away. It's the doe eye trend. And I'm always interested in seeing if these kind of makeup trends that the young people are wearing can translate to older eyes especially mine which are hooded and sagging so if you have like you know lovely no hoods and no sags then you can pretty much wear more of the trends and they look good on you but with the hooded eyes um, it is very difficult to wear eye makeup but I think that it helps so much I don't know if you've watched some of my other videos you've seen that I have tried um, taping my eyelids up, I've tried gluing my eyelids up, I've tried all kinds of things to get them to uh, to not fold forward. And this is the eye without makeup. And as you can see, without makeup, when I open my eye, this part of my eyelid just folds forward and lays pretty much on the lower part of my eyelid. So when I'm talking and raising my eyebrows and blinking, you can see my eye makeup, but in general, when my eyes are open, a lot of it gets swallowed up in that fold of skin. And now that I'm older and my hoods are sagging, it makes it twice as hard. And I know so many people who have just given up on makeup completely because they're older, their eyelid skin is crepey, and it's very difficult to apply makeup to it without having all kinds of weird striping effects and stuff going on, and then when it sags down, it's so disappointing. So I would like to encourage everyone who has hooded eyes, and everyone who especially is older and has saggy, crepey hooded eyes, like the triple whammy, to, um, to try makeup again because there's a lot of great products on the market now that weren't there back in the day. This is just going to be a peachy, uh, sun-kissed kind of eye look. And what makes this the doe eye is the eyeliner. Now, if you're younger, you can really wing it out. You could really lay it on thick. And I like a little bit of eyeliner during the day. I find that as we get older, my eyes are the one thing that really has, has lost a lot of its oomph on my face, whereas before maybe my eyelashes were thicker, my eyebrows were thicker, um, I didn't have as many problems underneath my eyes, my eye whites were whiter, creating more contrast between my irises and my eyes. So there's less contrast, so your eyes just on their own don't pop as much. And I find that this look, even though it's very subtle with the makeup for people who aren't big eye makeup users, it's pretty subtle, but it still makes your eye pop, which is what I like about it. And I like it that you don't really look like you're wearing a ton of eye shadow, whereas a lot of the smoky eyes with the colors and everything and the, the blacks and the dark grays, you know, people look at you and it's just like all they see is your eyeshadow. With this, the eyeshadow is very subtle and natural. So anyway, that's enough of me talking about what I'm going to do today for you. And so now let's get into doing it. I'm going to try to do it so that you can see what I'm doing. But, you know, being 51 as I am now, the vision is going. Um, if I try to look in my monitor, I'm all fuzzy in there. I have a mirror right down here. So I'm going to try to do it just with the plain mirror and... Let's wish me luck. I hope it comes out okay. Sorry, next door, they're cutting down trees. I've got those noises going on, but it's so hot and humid today. I have to have the window open or I'd be suffocating in here. So I hope you can hear me above that. Maybe I should close the window just for this. I'll try not to, and then I'm gonna get all sweaty. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna close the window. All right, so we are gonna need a MAC paint pot in Painterly. We are going to need three eyeliners. I know this seems like a lot, but you need a light color for your lower waterline. I'm going to use this silver because that's what I have. If you have a peach or a white, that can look really nice there. Then I'm going to use a black pencil liner for the outer corner and to make a template here for my liquid liner, which is what I really have a problem with and what a lot of people my age really have a problem with is the getting the liquid liner to go on smooth and to look nice. For the eyeshadows, I'm just going to use a single palette. This is the Sonia Kashuk. Uh, it's an all matte palette. This is available at Target and I'm really only going to use the colors in the top two rows. I'm not going to use any of the dark ones down here at all. Um, and these are pretty pigmented, so that will work out fine. I'm going to use two mascaras. Uh, I have the Clump Crusher, and I also have this uh, L'Oreal Voluminous False, what is it? Uh, false Fiber Lashes. So two mascaras, three eyeliners, uh, one eyeshadow, and an eyelash curler, and we are good to go. All right. 
So now we will just start over here with the MAC Paint Pot. I just swirl my finger in there and then just throw it on my eyelid. Uh, I put it up almost all the way to my eyebrow, but I leave right under there because I'm going to do a highlight of eyeshadow, so I don't really want that up there. All right, so there is that in place. Now, in my Sonia Kashuk palette, the first thing I'm going to do is take a, a small crease brush. I don't know what kind this is. Oh, this is the one that I got in my Costco set, um, and I'm just going to put it in this lightest white here, okay? And shake that off, and we're just going to put, just my mirror, I'm just going to put the tiniest little highlight of that right underneath the brow bone. I shook off a little too much there. Okay, and then you're also going to take that and put it right at the inner corner, just to brighten that area up a little, a little bit. Okay, can you see that? All right, then I'm going to take my, everything I use is a nice, fluffy, fluffy, soft brush. Now, if you have crepey skin, the worst thing that you can do for yourself is to buy hard brushes. You need nice, soft, fluffy brushes. It helps to um, not yank at your eyelid, and it also helps to put the colors down in a softer way so that you don't have to do as much blending because with that skin it's really hard to blend it and it pulls at it a lot to blend it and you don't want to do all this extra pulling. All right so now the second color I'm going to take is this one on the opposite corner. This is a really nice pale peach and we're just going to take that and put it all over the lower part of the eyelid and for this just close down your eye and pop it on there. And then we're going to go above the crease, pretty much to the edge of the brow bone. Okay? All right. The next color, this is pretty much a similar brush to the one I just used, um, and it's, you know, nice and fluffy as well. Oh my gosh, it's got a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> I wonder if it's... Okay, and now I'm going to take this color right here, which is a really kind of bright, um, fawny, not fawny, but yeah, kind of fawny, peachy color. And I'm going to put that right above the crease. And that's going to be our blending color. So that's going to go all up here. And I really love this color for summer. I don't think I would use it that much in the winter. But, you know, when you have bronzer on and you're going for kind of a bronzy look, I think this is really pretty on the eyes. And it just, it makes you look all sun-kissed and not really made up, even though you're made up. All right, and so then you just want to go out here and then bring it back in. So you don't want anything to be winging out there. Okay, you're just going to put that all over above the crease, but below where you put on that highlighter color. All right. Okay, so then the third shade we're going to use, this is the Sonia Kashuk um, Crease Brush. And so I'm going to go to the other side to this um, pale brown over here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the tip of my brush and shake that off really good because we don't really want this to get dark. But what we want to do is create a line above the crease, all right, that defines the lower lid. So I'm just going to put that in the crease and bring it across very gently so there's no pulling. You can see this brush is so nice and soft that it doesn't create any pulling, all right. Now if your eyes are um, close set, you want to uh, concentrate more on the outside. And if your eyes are wide set, you want to concentrate the darkness more on the inside. Okay, mine are just regular, so I'm just doing kind of just an arch right above. And you can see now how my lid is staying very light, and then it has just a little bit of darker brown above it, and then it fades into kind of that medium peachy tone, and then up to there. And we're going to blend this also. So don't worry if it's a little stripy right now. I know it's very subtle, but this is a very subtle look. Now, usually you would come in on the edge. You're not going to do that. You're going to leave the whole lid that nice, lighter color. And I'm just going to darken it up on the outside a little bit here. I really don't like my darkness in here. On me, I feel like it looks better if it's on the outside. And so there's that. Okay. Now, I use a separate brush for blending. Gosh, I'm starting to get really hot and sweaty. I think they've stopped. I'm going to open the window back up. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it's so humid. I don't know why I don't have the air conditioning on. Well, I do because it's only like 74 degrees. So it's not hot, but it's so humid that it's making me 
kind of sweaty to be in here. All right, so where was I? The blending. So I have this big um, brush. I'm not even sure what it's used for. It came in my Costco set. And I just like to use this for blending. Now, since we want to keep the eyelid nice and bright, we're just going to blend this mainly up. So you're just going to do like little upwards flicking motions to start, just to get that blended together. And then I like to just wipe it off on my hand. And then we're just going to go across, but staying above the crease. All right, and then if you want, you can blend this up so that it has a nice, subtle gradation. Yeah, this one could use a little more even though that one's finished. Okay, so now you can see how this has really, um, with these matte shadows, even when I open my eye, it doesn't have the appearance of as much of a fold as it did before. Your eyelid skin is particularly oily. It really, your upper eyelid skin produces a lot of oil. And so when you don't have any makeup on it, when it folds together, it sticks together because of the kind of oiliness there. And it really makes the fold very pronounced and come way out into the forefront. By the time you have on, you know, a primer and a couple coats of nice matte mask, uh, not matte mascara, but nice matte eyeshadow, it really keeps your eyelid from sticking together and folding forward as much. So it really helps your eyes to look wide open when you do put makeup on. And that's why I say I encourage everyone with hooded eyelids and, you know, crepey, saggy hooded eyelids. A lot of people have given up on makeup, but don't give up on makeup. It can actually help. So anyway, so this is great. Now let's move on to the eyeliners. Now I'm going to take that sparkly silver that I showed you before, and I'm just going to rim the um, waterline, so the so the inner rim. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the outer corner. So you don't really want this to be dark. The bottom side to be dark. You still want the bottom to be kind of natural. So we're not going to put mascara on the lower lashes or anything. Now what we're going to do with this, since we're using liquid liner, and liquid liner is so difficult when you get older, um, we're going to be creating kind of a template with this that will help us to place the liquid liner where we want it and have it not smear all over. I am going to do lining right at the base of the lashes, right on the top. But this seems to be going okay for now. And then you just want to flick it out. You know, I like to get away with a little wing, nothing too big, just a little wing at the outside. Okay, so I checked that in my 15X mirror, and basically what I did is I went ahead and I had put it on pretty thin, but just, you saw the technique. So you just go over it until you get a nice, even, um, you know, fairly thick, but not too thick of a line. And let me just zoom in on this so you can see what the template kind of looks like. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and put on the liquid liner. Now, <laughs> practice, practice, practice with this stuff. I love it, but it's really difficult to use, but I love the look. So I'm using this NYX one. This is a super skinny marker. A lot of these have a real, like, brush brush at the end, and it's too hard for people who can't see and don't have perfect skin to put on. So this one's great because it's like a felt tip marker. So it gives you a lot more control than the, um, than the paintbrush kind of ones. And this is in black. So I am going to go ahead and try this <laughs> with just looking in my regular mirror. Let's see how it goes. Now, basically, I find that it helps to reach above your eyebrow and kind of pull up on your eyelid while looking down. Okay, so this is how you're going to get it right at the base of your lashes. Otherwise, sometimes you can end up with a little space there, and that looks a little funky. All right, so you're going to pull up and look down, and you're just going to start with a steady hand. And the nice thing is that you already have the template there, so this, the edges of this are not looking all disgusting and craggly which is what we hate. Yes, our skin does have crags in it, but do we want everybody to be able to see them? Okay, and then to get the wing, you're just going to turn it the other way and follow that line down. Okay, and then just do a little filling right in there. All right, now hold it up until it's dry because if it's wet and you have hooded eyes and you let your hood fall down, it will 
you will end up with liquid liner all over your hood and who wants that so just gonna hold it up here for a sec until it's all dry and with this humidity it's gonna take longer than it should so I will be right back when it's dry that looks pretty good for the last step what I do is I take a clean q-tip the last step with the liner that is take a clean q-tip and I just go over the top of the line just to make sure that it doesn't really have too many um, jaggedy edges on the top so that's that now a couple coats of mascara and we're done so with this one you want to in order to open up the eyes more with the hooded eyes you got to curl your lashes so take your eyelash curler you know how to work it put it on there ouch <laughs> for some reason I always grab my uh, lower lash and pull it and <laughs> gives it a yank and yanks it out so you just hold that there for a second let it go and as I said, I'm using two mascaras for this. I'm using the Clump Crusher, which will be my first coat. I love this one because I am notorious for poking myself in the eye, and this one has a tiny, tiny wand, and I find that that helps me quite a bit to get the mascara on there without poking myself in the eye. So I just take it slow and easy. <laughs> okay, so I'll do this one. You can put on gobs and gobs of mascara if you want. And this is a nice mascara, but it doesn't really build that much length or volume. So that's why I'm doing two coats of that. And then I'm taking my uh, False Fiber Lashes, L'Oreal Voluminous. I'm going to do a coat on top of the Clump Crusher. And this is the one that I always poke myself in the eye with. So I'm going to try not to do that. Just be really close and careful. And the thing is that since you've already gone, you already have all that liner on, and you already have the two coats of Clump Crusher, you don't need to go close to your lash line with this. So this is what keeps me from poking myself in my eye, is that I just pretty much do from the middle out to the tip. And I like my lashes to be kind of fanned out. So I kind of pull them off to the side when I'm doing it. And I just need a second to wait for that to dry, keep my eyes kind of half closed because of course, everything ends up on the hood, which is a pain. If you made any mistakes with your mascara and you did have to go in and wash anything off, this would be the time to retouch up your eyeshadow. I'm just going to pop that in there, and I'm done. All right, so that is the doe-eyed eyeshadow look, the big hit of the summer, um, on a 51-year-old with sagging, crepey, hooded eyes. And you know what? I love it. I think that we should continue wearing eye makeup because, you know, for God's sake, we're not dead and we still want to look kind of pretty. So thanks. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.